the Applied Chemistry Laboratory, CHE 204, is held in the Lashmiller Chemistry Labs, 80 St. George Street, in rooms Lashmiller 113 and 117. This video explores the Lashmiller lab facilities and then goes on to talk about lab safety. The lab benches have four students per side and are organized into pods of two benches or 16 students plus one TA. Chemical engineering uses pods 3, 4, 5, and 6. You'll notice that adjacent pods have different colored lockers and fume hoods and floors. Pods are labeled at each end. Let's say that you are in 5C10, that means you're in pod 5, section C, and your workstation is number 10. Each fume hood is labeled with workstations. This is number 9 and 10, so workstation 10 is at this end of this fume hood. Each station has two equipment drawers. They're here. If they have got yellow labels, they are the Wednesday section, and the ones on below in black and white labels are for Thursday. You will have a combination lock to these and we'll give you the combination on your first day. Each person has half a fume hood and it's over here. You can actually have to turn the light on and the door will open wide when you need it to. Inside there's a scaffold that you can hang equipment on. Also inside there is compressed air by the tube and vacuum. Notice that they're orange and yellow taps and the taps to control vacuum and air pressure are down below. The large drawer underneath each one comes empty. This is where you put your backpack and your coat during the day. Make sure that you do put your coat away. It's a trip hazard if you leave it on the floor or on the bench. In the middle is a common equipment drawer. This is equipment that is used by the students who use this workstation throughout the week. So you're sharing it. It's yours for the day. In here, you'll find such things as a hot plate, butterfly clamp for titrating, three-finger clamps. These are heating blocks, which you'll be using later on in the term. And these are condenser connectors. This equipment is common. It belongs to this workstation. There's other equipment which you will be sharing with the other students in the lab. And they're distributed around the benches in the lab. Over here we have a melting point apparatus where you'll be testing the melting point of various compounds. Each bench also has a centrifuge. This is for removing solids from liquids or separating them rather. At the other end of the pod you'll find balances to different kinds of accuracy. There are analytical balances, the tall ones, which will weigh to plus or minus uh, 0.1 of a milligram, and the top-loading balances, which load, which will weigh rather to two decimal places of grams. Also on the side benches, you'll find drying ovens and Fourier transform infrareds, and this is a UV visible spect photometer. You'll be introduced to these when you need them. Also on the corridor side benches is, are places where liquid chemicals are dispensed. Please use these over the polyethylene trays. Don't bring them out over the floor, but over the tray. Every pod has one sink. There are three taps here. The center one is hot and cold water. On this side is distilled. It's actually reverse osmosis water. When you're using water for chemical reactions, this is the tap that you use. Please don't leave it on. On the other side is the emergency eye wash. Put it and the face that needs to be washed over the sink and squeeze, and the eye wash will function. Speaking of emergency washing, there are two safety showers in the lab. Here is one of them. If you need it, you stand underneath and pull the handle. I'm not going to do that because there's no drain. But if you do need it, this is the place to wash. 
Speaking of broken glass, if you do break anything, down at this end of the bench there is a sink. Underneath the sink you'll find a bright green bucket which in, has broken glass inside it. On the top of it lives a dustpan and brush where you can clean everything up and it goes into the broken glass container. On a typical day in the lab, you'll arrive, put your coat and bags in the drawer under the fume hood, and then go into your locker, take out your lab coat, and put it on. First of all, there'll probably be a pre-lab quiz on the first day of each new experiment, which I'll write right there at your workstation. Right after the quiz, there'll be a pre-lab presentation. Move down to the screen end of the pod to watch that. As soon as the presentation ends, the experimental work begins. So get your eye protection in place, gloves on, and begin to follow the protocol.